Apart from Zocker Nike fans, who in the world is dumb enough to agree that ascending means dying? No one. No one is that dumb apart from Zocker Nike fans. The main reason for the downfall of modern Dawa is that Dawa Gandists like Zocker Nike got so comfortable telling lies that they just got sloppier and sloppier. Normally, if you tell a lie and your lie is exposed, it hurts your credibility. So even if you thought it was a good idea to lie, you would soon realize that it's destroying your credibility. And you either stop lying or you at least try to be a bit more careful when you're lying. But in the Dawa community, they learned very quickly that their listeners will never question their lies and that the more lies they tell, the more popular they become. The result of years of unchallenged, unquestioned lying was that the Dawa Gandists eventually didn't even bother trying to be careful. The more lies, the merrier. For people like Zakir Naik, lying is as natural as breathing. But now it's finally catching up with them because they've given us an endless supply of material to expose them. How would you like to see Zakir Naik quote part of a Bible verse, then twist that part of the Bible verse in order to deceive his listeners, then ignore the rest of the Bible verse because it would instantly expose his deception? Yes, Zakir Naik is so deceptive, he can't even finish a Bible verse because simply finishing the Bible verse would finish his credibility. In his case against the death and resurrection of Jesus, Zakir Naik quotes part of John chapter 20, verse 17, and he massively distorts the meaning to make it seem like Jesus was claiming that he never died. In the Gospel of John chapter 20, verse number 17, I have not yet ascended unto my Father. Meaning what? That he has not yet been dead. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, unequivocally says that he has not yet been resurrected. What did Jesus say? I have not yet ascended unto my Father. And what did Jesus mean? Meaning what? That he has not yet been dead. One more time. What did Jesus say? I have not yet ascended unto my Father. And what did Jesus mean? Meaning what? That he has not yet been dead. And since Jesus said that he didn't die, had he risen from the dead? Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, unequivocally says that he has not yet been resurrected. Scripture twisting 101, ladies and gentlemen. Now, just so we're clear, did Zachar Knight just claim that when Jesus said he hadn't ascended to the Father, he was saying that he hadn't died. Yes, he did. So, according to Zakir Naik, ascending to the Father is another way of saying dying, right? Absolutely. Apart from Zakir Naik fans, who in the world is dumb enough to agree that ascending means dying? No one. No one is that dumb apart from Zakir Naik fans. So, why is Zakir Naik so desperate to convince people that ascending means dying? Well, he's trying to show that Jesus didn't die, and he needs for Jesus to say that he didn't die. But Jesus never says that he didn't die, so Zakir Naik has to twist his words. What did Jesus really say about his death? In Mark 9.31, Jesus says to his disciples, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him. And when he has been killed, he will rise three days later. They will kill him, and when he has been killed, he will rise three days later. Doesn't get much clearer than that. What do Dawagandists do when Jesus makes a clear statement? They find another statement and twist it. So, Zakir Naik says that ascending means dying. But what happens when we finish the verse that Zakir Naik was quoting? We don't need to finish the chapter. We don't need to finish the Gospel of John. We just need to finish the verse Zakir Naik was quoting to see why Zakir Naik didn't finish it for us. John chapter 20, verse 17. Jesus said to her, to Mary Magdalene, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Remember, Ascending means dying. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, 
to my God and your God. This is the part where Zucker Knight fans will try to change the subject. Hey, Jesus said he has a God. I thought Jesus was God. Ha ha ha, we don't know basic Christian theology. And we could explain to them, yet again, that we're Trinitarians, and that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit exist eternally as God, and that at the Incarnation, the Divine Son entered creation as Jesus of Nazareth, and that as the perfect man, Jesus wouldn't be an atheist. He would continue to acknowledge the Father. We could explain all that, but they wouldn't listen. So we'll save all that for another discussion because we don't want to miss how the part of this verse that Zucker Nike left out completely destroys his claim. According to Zucker Nike, when Jesus said, I have not yet ascended to the Father, that was Jesus saying unequivocally that he hadn't died. I have not yet ascended unto my Father. Meaning what? That he has not yet been dead. But when we read the rest of the verse, which Zucker Knight conveniently left out, we see Jesus saying, I am ascending to my Father. What does ascending to my Father mean? Zucker Knight says it means dying. So, according to the reasoning, or should I say, anti reasoning, of Zucker Knight, Jesus was saying unequivocally that he was dying. He was about to die. Right after this conversation with Mary, Jesus died, according to the masterful exegesis of Zakhar Naik. Does Jesus tell the truth, according to Islam? Yes. So if Jesus said he was dying, then he was dying. Hence, if we take Zakhar Naik seriously, which we can never do, the Bible is somehow claiming that Jesus didn't die on the cross, Instead, he survived for a few days, then died, and then rose from the dead. But Zucker Knight doesn't want his listeners to believe that Jesus rose from the dead, so he does what all Dawagandists do. He cherry-picks and chops up verses. The most disturbing part in all of this is that you can line up 100 followers of Zucker Knight, and you can ask them if any of this bothers them, even slightly. 100 out of 100 Zucker Nike fans will say it doesn't bother us at all. They've been psychologically conditioned to love and respect lying. As long as Zucker Nike is lying to attack Christianity, his fans will love him for lying. If you don't believe me, let's ask them directly. Zucker Nike fans of the world, how do you feel about your most popular speakers? lying in order to deceive you about Jesus. For all the Muslims watching, do let us know your answer in the comments below. Zakir Naik loves to lie, but it turns out doing so makes him a good Muslim. In this video, David Wood explains how Islam is built on a culture of lies. And in this video, I demonstrate that lying is not only encouraged, but sometimes obligatory under Sharia law. And we're proud of that.